Hello, everyone. I just want to come on uh, a second and um, just mention something that just just came to me about you know how we always talk about our haters and and this, that, and the third. And I just want to say that you know we need to stop talking about our haters because. The people are not our haters. It's the enemy of our haters. See, we look at people with our natural eye, but we don't look at the we don't look at the heart. Or we don't look at we don't look at the spirit behind. You know, we don't look at the spirit behind that person. You know, what possessed? We don't think about to ask that question. What possessed that person to do that? Or what possessed that person to say that? All we know is what it is. This flesh did it. That flesh, they, they, they in that flesh body. That flesh did it. You know, that flesh, that flesh said it. The, the, that spirit used that person. And sometimes we can't blame the enemy. That's true. But you still got to recognize uh, who, you, who, you, who you fighting. For the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not coming. You see what I'm saying? And it also says that that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. See? But against what? Principality, wickedness, in, in high places, and so, so far on. So, you know, how can we look at the, the individual? And I'm not talking about nobody in Pacific. It just came to me. How can we look at the individual and say that, you know, Oh, that I don't like that person. Or, I hate that person. Or, I can't forgive that person because they did this to me, or they said this to me, or or, or they hurted me, or you know, or, they crossed that line, or, or whatever that person did, or whatever situation you know it was. Or, or, you know, they we're trying to hold people accountable. And, and I'm not saying, you know, people are not supposed to be held accountable for wrong because they are, but at the end of the day, we know God is the judge. God is the judge. And so we just have to know, you know, who are we fighting? Who are we fighting? Who are we battling with? And that, that's, you know, that's what we got to ask ourselves. You know, what possessed this person to say that? What possessed that person to treat me this way? What possessed that person to do that? You know, what what possessed that person to cuss me out? Or wanna 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 spit on me, wanna slap me, you know, wanna wanna make me lose my job. Why would they go to my boss boss lady, a boss man and, and say that I said something that I didn't say or say that I, I placed this in, in a in the wrong place and I know that I put it there and I know what I did. You know, I know that I didn't I didn't um you know do what they said I did. That I know what time I clocked in, but they want to say I clocked in at this time, and they know it's not true. You know, what it possessing that person? Ask them. What it, ask yourself? What it possessing that person? What possessed that person to say that or to do that, to act that way? You know, to look at you funny. What possessed that person to cuss you out and say they hated you? What possessed that person to, so you know, to do the things they do? And in every situation, we need to start asking ourselves, what would Jesus do? How would Jesus respond in this situation? You know, when a person came up to Jesus, he didn't look at that person. He looked at that demon that was possessing that person. And he cast that demon out in the name of Jesus. He rebuked that demon spirit in the name of Jesus. What did he say? Even to say, he said, get thee behind me, Satan. The Lord God rebukes you. So we got to rebuke that devil. We got to rebuke that spirit and not go on live and, and go to talking about the person. Not go on live and go to going off on the person all in our flesh like that person was all in their flesh. But we got to get in the spirit and go to praying in the spirit on behalf of that individual that the enemy loose that individual. Hallelujah. That the enemy even loose us that when, when we jump in our flesh that the enemy let go of us in our flesh. That's what spirit are you carrying when that individual comes to you or that individual say or do whatever they're doing. Ask what spirit you are carrying. 
when you react in such an ungodly way. The Bible says that we're supposed to have, you know, have peace, you know, uh, with all men. Not saying that you're not supposed to approach sin and all the other stuff, but we're supposed to carry ourselves, have a godly character about ourselves. If you step out of character, now that devil they don't raised up in that person, now that you're supposed to be the Christian, now they're looking at you like, I thought you were saved. But you act not your flesh. See, that devil used that person for that moment to try to get you to show who you are. And we got to be smart. Kingdom. We have to be kingdom minded. Thank you, Lord. We have to be kingdom minded. Because the enemy is looking to, to make you trip up, to make you fall. But if you get up, if you if you fall, get back up. Because a wise man don't stay down. Only a foolish man decide to stay down, decide to feel pity for himself and stay down and wallow in sin, wallow in guilt, wallow in shame. You got to get up. We in this walk, we study going to be perfecting each day. So if you fall, get back up. Why did I go there? I don't know, but thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. But stop looking at the person and look at that spirit behind that individual. Look at that spirit that's using your wife. Look at that spirit that using your husband, using your kids, using your co-workers, using your neighbor, using whoever, using your boss man, boss lady, whoever. Look at the spirit behind you yourself. And regroup that devil in the name of Jesus. Not the person. And that's what a lot of us sinner, you know, not sinner, saints trip up at. We want to we want to look at their flesh and we want to talk about the flesh. We want to feed the flesh by the flesh. Mm -mm. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't walk in the flesh being saved. You can't do that. Mm -mm. You got to bring that flesh on a subjection in the name of Jesus. So, but this is what the video is about. I just wanted to say that because that's what came to me. And I just pray the Lord for that word in the name of Jesus. Don't look at the flesh. Look at that spirit behind it. Look at that spirit behind that person that's speaking, that person that's doing that nasty act, that person that had that evil heart. Look at that spirit. We know people can cut up in the flesh because we cut up in the flesh and have cut up in the flesh, but we got to die daily. Allow the Lord to transform us, to change us, to wash us. It's nothing that we're doing on our own, but by the power of the Holy Ghost, by His might, by His strength. Hallelujah. So let's have compassion on people that betray us. Hallelujah. Let's have compassion. Let's have joy. Let's have love in the name of Jesus. Still on that person. They carry the love of Christ, people. And I just want to mention this. No, I just leave it alone. Save it for another time. In Jesus' name.